hello guys welcome back so in this video here we're going to create an export drop down menu as you can see here we can click this button here and then it's going to bring up the options which you can easily use them and we can click here to set up inside this label here so without further ado let's get started okay now we can navigate here to this drop down and create here a new file so we are going to create here coding class of file and select file here and this one we are going to call this component and inside here now we can create a new composable and this composable here we can call it main screen okay now after we create here our main screen what we have to do now is to create our composable so what we are going to create here we are going to create another composable and this one we are going to call it exposed drop down menu so basically here we are going to use a outline text field to act as our layout here in order to display to display our drop down menu so as you can see here we have several states which we have to use them so in order to do this we can create another class okay now the purpose of this class here is to decouple the state from the composables to this class here so we can easily track and manage our state inside this class so for example here now we can create a variable and this one is going to represent the state of the drop down menu so if there's going to be enabled or disabled so here we can use a mutable state as usual and here basically we can pass in force for example and now you can try to import here the values and after that here now we can create another variable and this one is going to represent the string and here basically we're going to have an empty string and here we're going to have a mutable state of size so here basically what we want to have is the size which is going to occupy the state of the canvas so the canvas must reach the st the size of the of, of the outline text field so what we want to use this size here in order to make the outline text field equal to this drop down menu so that we can use this size to differentiate or to make them to be together now after that here now also we want to define the icon and this one is going to be of type int because we are going to return a resource id and we want this to recompose every time when it's going to be changing so we want to be when this one is going to be enabled we want to change the icon to be looking up or to be looking down so for that case here we're using this at composable so that it can reinitialize and use another another asset for that case here now we can use this gate and we can use an if statement here so we can check if this one is going to be enabled okay so here we have all of our values now we can try to state the events which are going to re-trigger the recomposition or change the values this And here we can change the unselected index. So when the selected index has changed here, we want to pass in int and we want to change the selected. Okay, now here we can add another variable. And this one is going to contain the items which are going to be shown inside the drop down menu. And here we can use a list. So basically, here we have a list and we are going to map it to this string here. So after that, we can come here. So if you have, for example, a database, so here we are having, for example, a, ar arising from the room database, or you are getting from the network call and you want to get a specific value. So you're going to use this selected index in order to get the item.
Okay, now what has remained here is creating a way which can remember the function. So we can create here a new composable. And we can call this remember expose the menu state holder. And we can use a normal remember function here. And we can call our expose this drop down menu state holder and we can create here our object and this one is going to be remembered inside recomposition so this is the way so if you have here for example you want to pass in dependency so you can just pass it inside here and remember inside this by using the calculations here and you can pass them inside the expose drop down menu state holder now we can try to use this inside our components now let's jump inside components and finish up okay now let's create here the state and this state is going to be inside this main screen so that we can reuse it for example if we have view models or other things which we want to reuse inside the main screen so here for example you can just call this state holder and we can use the remember expose the state holder and for that case here so this one is going to take up a state holder and it's going to be of type expose drop down state holder now for this case here now we can use the state holder and here we are not going to pass anything because we don't want the text field to react to the keyboard changes and what we want to pass in here for example label so inside here now we can pass in a text and here basically we can just pass in label and other thing which we want we want here to have the trailing icon so if you press here control q you can see the optional trailing icon to be displayed at the end of the text field container now for here now we can pass in for example the icon and here we want to pass in a painter resource and what we have to do we can use the state here and we can pass in the icons and we want this to be null another thing which we want here we want to this icon to be clickable and we want to trigger up the state so that we can re we can change the drop down menu so we can use the state holder and we can also use the state holder in order to trigger this okay so we are going just to change here the states between different ways now what we want also this to have the drop down menu and for that case here we want to surround this inside a, a box you can press ctrl alt j here and you can just surround this with a widget so here basically we are going to surround this with a, a box now what we want to do here now we want to perform and also we want all of this to be surrounded inside the column so we are doing this because the drop down menu is going to be inside a pop up window which is not going to be it's not going to be displayed inside the layout so it has its own window so we are doing this inside the box here let me show you here what i mean now we can create here the drop down menu and here the expanded we can pass in the state okay now we can use here the state holder and we can change the enabled and we can pass in here false so that it just dismiss the 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 output now here we can use the items so and here we are going to have the drop down menu item so here we can react to the on click okay so now we can use the state holder and we can change the selected index and we can pass in here the index which has been selected now for example here we can pass in a text so you can have any type of ui which you want here because this one is going to be a roscope so you can just use here and create anything which you want so for example here we are just going to provide the text and we are going to be using this text which has been provided inside this list 
Now for that case here, I think we are done creating here our composable. What we can do, we can just call here our expose drop down menu and we can pass in here the state holder. Okay, now we want to make here our drop down to be equal size to this outline text field. So because this one is going to wrap the content, so what we can do here, we can add another function, another parameter, which is called the modifier, and we can pass in here the global on global layout position listener. And what we can do here now, we can use the state and we can change the size and what we can do here now we can use the coordinate so this one is going to be the layout coordinate and and basically we can convert this to a size so here we're getting an int size and we are going to convert this to a size which a modifier can easily can easily use now for that case here now we can come inside this drop down menu and we can pass in here a modifier We are going to use here a local density so that we can easily so we're using this local density so that we can easily convert between the floor to something which can easily be used by by the modifier so So now if you press here control key, you can see this is going to be used to transform between density independent pixel and pixel units. So this one is going to be easily converted. So we are going to use this current. Now for that case, also we want when this item has been selected, we also want to close the pop-up. So what we can do here, we can use the state holder and we can pass in here to force so that we can easily just change back now we can come here to our main activity and inside the set content here we can call the main active main screen now i think we are done we can try to run our application and see the output okay now the app is launched here and we have here a label and now we can try for example to click this button here and as you can see here now it's bringing up the option and the size is going to be the size of this text field here and it also just comes inside here because we have used the column the box and we have specified this drop down menu inside there now if you press here now we can also reinitialize this value here and if we come here we cannot use the text field because we have not used the the lambda function which is used to reinitialize the values so you can try to use another thing so for example if you don't want to use a text field you can just create a custom implementation of this outline text field box and you can just pass in these icons here so guys let's leave it here so if you find this video helpful please don't forget to provide a like and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye for now thank you